Dear Lord, we stand before you today with excitement and happiness in our hearts to celebrate two very special people coming together as one. We ask for your presence here as we join Rachel and Tyler in marriage. I watched your relationship with Tyler unfold from the beginning and I can honestly say that although no one is perfect, Rachel and Tyler are pretty perfect for each other. So Catherine, Isabella, and I had a really good chance to really get to know Rachel because we've lived in Florida the past few years and you've just always been so kind and nurturing and patient with Isabella. Like you're, you're really gonna be a great mom one day. Despite the fact that you don't think there's any such thing as brunch, I couldn't think of anyone better to share a life with my best friend. Since day one, I've never had to question whether or not you were worthy of Rachel. You've been patient, kind, loyal, and compassionate. You bring a certain happiness out in Rachel that I had never seen in her until she met you, and that's all any girl could ever ask for for her sister. She was everything I could ever want to bless my son. And most of all, you see it, how much she loves my son. And that's all a dad could ask for. Why does this marriage excite me? It's because I've seen these two when nobody's looking. That's when you know it's just them two. I'm so proud of that. I'm so proud of these two. adversity in early on in your relationship and you're so much stronger because of it. What started as a casual puppy play date has turned into honest, pure, and unconditional love. These are the hands of your best friend, young and strong, holding yours on your wedding day. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future and realize your dreams. These are the hands that even when aged will always be reaching for yours today, tomorrow, and forever. Do you take Rachel to be your wedded wife, to cherish and love and in friendship and strength and in weakness? in success and in disappointment, and vow to love her faithfully today, tomorrow, and for as long as you both shall live. I sure do. I do. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of our love. As a symbol of our love. For today and tomorrow. For today and tomorrow. For all the days to come. All the days to come. Wear it as a sign of what we have promised on this day. Wear it as a sign of what we promised on this day. And know my love is present. You know my love is present. Even when I am not. Even when I am not. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of our love. As a symbol of our love. For today and tomorrow. For today and tomorrow. And for all the days to come. And all the days to come. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Tyler, kiss your bride. Rachel, you, you have one of the good ones. Um, that was the best decision you've ever made and saying, and saying I do to this man right here. So good judgment, congratulations, and let's, let's raise a toast to them. Congrats, y'all. We love you.
You know, Tyler, I love you like a son already. And you know, I love my daughter and mother daughter like nothing else on this earth. But uh, y'all have been phenomenal together. And the way you've grown and your, your years together has been really encouraging. And everybody should take a notice of that and recognize it. But let's enjoy each other tonight and celebrate your union. And let's just get it on. You are such good kids. So blessed to know you and to call you my son, my daughter-in-law. So happy about that. May your marriage be full of more love than you can experience in a lifetime. Both of you deserve it. Both of you truly do. Son, don't screw this up.